Today I wanted to encourage you concerning a thankful heart, a right attitude. One of the most telling scriptures, passages, warnings that Jesus gave us was in Matthew 7, 1 through 5. And I'm just going to read it to you. Jesus said, don't criticize and then you won't be criticized. And you know, I find that in comparison to the world, the church, the Christians, that's us. We should be the ones that are being thankful, yes. looking for the good, believing the best. We should not be like the rest of the world, finding fault, being critical, grumbling and complaining. We should be thankful. And then he said, for others will treat you as you treat them. Ooh, that's so good. Because if we want to receive honor, then we need to treat others with honor. Yes. If we want to be loved, then we need to be loving. If we want to have friends, then we need to be friendly. If we want to receive kindness and mercy, then we need to be kind and merciful. Yes. And then he goes on and he says, and why worry about a speck in the eye of a brother? That means you're looking at little minute things. That means that one thing that gets on your nerves every time you get around that person. Jesus said, why are you looking at the speck in the eye of your brother when you have a board in your own? That means you've got an <laughs> issue in your life that's really holding you back and you're not attending to that. God always says, judge yourself and then I won't have to judge you. Yes. We should always be looking in the Word of God as a mirror. That means we compare ourselves to the Word of God and then we work on us. And you know, I got my hands full with me. How about oh, you? Oh, come on, somebody. <laughs> First, get rid of the board. Then you can see to help your brother. So my encouragement to you today is we have two choices today. We can either be thankful or we can be critical. We can be critical of our boss, our employer, our company, our peers, our the pastor, the church, the choir. We can be critical or we can be thankful. So I encourage you to look for opportunities to be thankful today. And we want you to know that we're thankful for you. We're thankful for this opportunity yes. to share the Word of God with you every day. We love you. God bless you.